Ed Schultz of MSNBC went after President Obama on the Trans-Pacific Partnership on his show. This is great. Let's watch. This is the president just a moment ago mentioning this network, MSNBC. Here it is. I want to talk about some stuff that, that, uh, that creates some controversy because it's important. And one of those policies right now that I'm focused on is new trade agreements with other countries. And if you were watching MSNBC and all this stuff and you're thinking, oh man, well, you know, I love Obama, but what's going on here? <laughs> so so, I, so I, wanna, I, wanna, I wanna set the record straight here. I want everybody to be clear about what we're doing because I believe in what I'm doing here. Well, Mr. President, I want you to know that I believe in what I'm doing. And if you can prove to the American people that there will not be a depression of wages, if you can prove to the American people that this will create jobs, if you want to go face to face with me, President Obama, I'm ready to go because I have the facts, okay? Hey, Ed, Ed, and I also. You should, you should be go very ahead, proud. Sir. You should be very proud. I think he is talking about you. And I'll tell you why. Because as I said on the floor of the Senate yesterday, to the best of my knowledge, ABC. CBS and NBC and CNN, to the best of my knowledge, have not discussed the largest trade agreement in the history of the United States of America. And we might want to ask why that is the case. Well, uh, you know, why would President Obama use the MSNBC call letters? Uh, it's been shown by Media Matters that this show has covered the right. TPP more than anybody else. So I would imagine that he's talking about the Ed show. But the president has never done a sit down interview with Ed Schultz. And hey, you know, uh, my life is fine. But you know what? On this deal, the president's wrong and I'm right. The president is telling the American people that every union in this country is wrong. And I can tell you that every union in this country has been around longer than President Obama when it comes to trade deals and having to live with them. And this not just unions, out. Ed, not just unions. Yeah. You've got many, yeah. many environmental, cons environmental organizations that have deep concerns with this agreement as well. Okay. Senator Bernie Sanders, I'm sorry to interrupt the interview. That's I appreciate okay. your, how, courtesy you, uh, how courteous you were in, in allowing us to do that, but we wanted to take the president Good. live. Good. Thanks okay. so much, Senator. Appreciate it. Thank President you. Obama, a word from this broadcaster to you. I put my credibility up against any broadcaster in this country. I supported you big time. I was the first liberal talker to support you. I've carried your water big time when it comes to health care. I've carried your water on the economy and defending your move on the automobile industry. But Mr. President, you can take shots at this network, but I guarantee you, you are wrong on this and you cannot prove to the American people. This is not about generic talk that we have to think about the global economy and the cats out of the bag and everything else. American workers will suffer if this deal goes through. And Mr. President, your recovery of the economy, the automobile industry, and health care will not be your legacy. It will be what you're doing to the very people who put you in office. Had you had not had the unions, you'd have never beat John McCain. Had you had not had the unions, you'd have never beat Mitt Romney. And now you're turning your back on these people trying to convince them that they've got to do this phony trade deal that's going to ship jobs overseas. Ed, I take my hat off to you. That was awesome. So let's go ahead and look at some of the facts here. Ed mentioned the facts there. He said to President Obama, look, you're coming after me. You're coming after the network. Well, I have the facts. The facts are on my side. So do you want to talk about the facts or not? Let's talk about the facts. So first, let's get everything in perspective that this is a so-called free trade deal, just like the other 20 free trade deals that we've done, NAFTA, CAFTA, GATT, and uh, all of them, right? Well, let's look at the effects of all the free trade deals. Quote, as a result of permanent normal trade relations with China, which is one of the deals, the U.S. lost over 2.7 million jobs. As a result of the Korea Free Trade Agreement, the U.S. has lost 70,000 jobs. Back in 1970, 25% of all jobs in the United States were manufacturing jobs. Today, that figure is down to just 9%. Wow, look at that fact. Because of free trade.
Back in 1970, 25% of U.S. jobs were manufacturing jobs. Today, it's just 9% because we outsourced all of those jobs because of the deals that President Obama now supports. In July of 2000, there were 17.3 million manufacturing workers in the country. Today, there are only 11.7 million manufacturing workers. The Economic Policy Institute, according to them, permanent normal trade relations with China has led to the loss of, oh, we already covered that one, 2.7 million jobs. In fact, the United States has lost an average of about 50,000 manufacturing jobs per month since China joined the World Trade Organization. NAFTA has led to the loss of 680,000 jobs. Over the last decade, the Commerce Department has told told us that U.S. multinational corporations have laid off 2.9 million workers. According to the Economic Policy Institute, if the TPP is agreed to, the U.S. will lose more than 130,000 jobs to just Vietnam and Japan alone, and there are only two of the countries that are part of this deal. So, just focus on that fact alone. President Obama is making it seem like, well, this deal is good for the American people and the American workers. The Economic Policy Institute has said 130,000 jobs will be lost to Vietnam and Japan alone as a result of this deal. Furthermore, how do the American people feel about this? We do live in a representative democracy, right, President Obama? You always say you listen to the American people, right, President Obama? Uh, NBC News Wall Street Journal poll, 69% of the American people believe that, quote, free trade between the United States and other countries cost the U.S. jobs. They're factually right about that. And I haven't even mentioned that under the TPP, multinational corporations are given equal standing to governments under international tribunals run by the World Bank. Yeah, because they're going to be kind to poor people. They're not going to favor the corporations, right? Even though we just did a story about how that's exactly what the World Bank is doing. It's screwing over poor people all around the world. Uh, collective bargaining rights are going to be undermined according uh, under the TPP. Uh, environmental laws are gutted. Food safety is threatened. Uh, laws that are called Buy America laws, where the federal government needs to buy products made here, those are going to be threatened under this deal. Monopolies are extended for pharmaceutical companies, so the cost of your drugs are going to uh, remain high. And corporations can sue governments for loss of expected profit. Hmm. So you basically have socialism for the corporations, socialism for the rich. There's another term for that. Who came up? I think his name was Benito Mussolini. He came up with it, and the term was fascism. Socialism for the corporations. That's what we're talking about here. So understand, President Obama, when Ed Schultz goes after you about the TPP, when I go after you for the TPP, it's not because we have a personal vendetta against you. Really? That's your argument? Your argument is that... MSNBC and MSNBC hosts are anti-Obama. They have an anti-Obama bias. I've never heard anything less true in my entire life. So it's not about you personally. It's about what this bill will do, what this deal will do, and it's horrible for the American people. And in conclusion, let me say this. Not only is Ed Schultz 100% right, but President Obama, on this issue, you've totally fallen into the trap of listening to your Wall Street donor buddies. You think that the stuff that they're telling you is true about how these free trade deals will be great for the American people. It's not true. Do the research, look at the numbers, and you'll know, and you have to stand up and fight against this. Because if we go down this path, and if we implement this, it's the straw that broke the camel's back for the American middle class. They're already struggling. There's already a war on the, the middle class. Wages have already fallen tremendously. Unionization has been destroyed across the board. Labor laws are weakened. And this would make it even worse to the point where down the road, the middle class will be done.